By Mitch Stacy Cincinnati, Joe Burrow came to the line on fourth and inches on the Bengals 48 and planned to sneak the ball over for a first down late in overtime. Seeing the middle stacked, Burrow checked to the second planned play, a pass to tight end CJ Uzama that had worked perfectly in practice last week. Burrow rolled out and hit Uzama in stride for a 32-yard gain to set up Evan McPherson for a 33-yard field goal that gave the Bengals a 27-24 overtime win over the Minnesota Vikings in the opener Sunday. It was a beautiful ball, and he was dropping dimes all day, so I was just another one, Uzama. Minnesota challenged the ruling that Cook had fumbled, but it was upheld after a replay review. I know I had it, Pratt said. There was no doubt in my mind. Greg Joseph kicked a career-long 53-yard field goal as time ran out in the fourth quarter to tie the game for Minnesota, which had battled back from a 21-7 seconds half deficit. You need momentum early in the season. Burrow, who flashed his considerable potential last season before tearing up his left knee in Week 11, completed 20 passes on 27 attempts and didn't show any residual effects from being sacked five times by the Vikings. The 24-year-old played only one series in the preseason, in the final game, as he continued to rehab. When the game's on the line, I like the ball in my hands, Burrow said. Cincinnati running back Joe Mixon, making a return from a foot injury that sidelined him much of last season, rushed for 127 yards and had a two-yard touchdown plunge in the third quarter. They played better than us today. Kicking it and see Ferson, a rookie out of Florida who hit the game winner, kicked his first NFL field goal earlier in the fourth quarter, a 53-yarder that was so high and long that it drew ooze and awes from the crowd of 56, 525. It's a good feeling to watch those fall. He also converted all three of his pad attempts.